Hey, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. Motivation. I think this is something that we've all struggled with. And then you come across the question, motivation isn't needed, you need discipline instead. Yeah, you can actually level up discipline. You use discipline when you're not motivated. Discipline and willpower is super, super important. But we would like to have motivation. Already feeling motivated to do the things that you want to do that are difficult is a great feeling. Motivation is a great feeling and we want to feel more of it. So how? I'm gonna go through five things that you can do now which can literally make you feel motivated after this video. So stick to the end. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. The first thing is make it easy. The thing that you want to do, put it in front of you. You wanna drink more water? Put the bottle of water in front of you. You wanna read more books? Put the book in front of you. If you make it easy and you put it right in front of you, you're way more likely to actually do it. So when you wake up, first thing, if you put the water right in front of you, so it's there, first thing you grab when you wake up is water, you'll end up being a lot more motivated to do the things that you want to do because it's easy. The second one is accountability. I think being held accountable for the things that you say that you're going to do is one of the best things to keep you consistent. For me, for example, if I stopped YouTube, I probably would fall off my self-improvement journey even though I've been on it for two years now, and I probably like start giving into a lot of the bad habits. When I say that like NoFap is bad, video games is bad, because it's ruining your basically mental health and your social status in this world, I genuinely mean it. And if I fall back on it myself, like if I'm thinking every time I get the urge, oh, I could go on this video game. Oh, I, I've got the urge to go in the hub. No, what would my viewers think? What would they think? They would be disappointed in me. I can't tell them things from my own experience if I'm not even doing it myself. So when you are talking about self-improvement and that you're trying to focus, you're going to on improving yourself, you're going to the gym more, tell your friends about it. When you've actually verbally said it, you're suddenly telling everyone that I'm being held accountable for my own actions. And if I fall off it, then that's bad. Obviously, it's a long journey. And if you fall off every now and then, that's okay because it is a long journey and it's hard. But if you have the mindset that you're going to hold yourself accountable, that you're going to try again and keep staying consistent, that's really, really good. Visualizations. That's the third one. And I think visualizing the future you, the dream version of you five years down the line, who did all of it, who did everything, who didn't procrastinate, did everything that you wanted to do. I think if you always think about that guy who's got that dream body, who looks 10 times more attractive you are now, has that dream house, that dream family, that dream car, is financially free, time freedom, location freedom. If you think about that guy five years down the line, you stay motivated to do the things to get to that guy that you want to be five years down the line. Because that, that is a genuine possibility for you. If you stay consistent for the next five years, that is a genuine possibility for you. Fourth one is break it down. Start, just get motivated for the little things, the small things. Getting up out of bed on time, not going on your phone first thing in the morning, drinking that bit more water, starting to exercise a bit more. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna, I've, I'm gonna go out in nature just a bit more today. Just get motivated. Get excited for the little things. Like discipline. Discipline isn't just like leveling up your discipline. It isn't just by doing the really, really hard thing. It's just by doing every little small thing that you didn't want to do. Whether it be brush your teeth. Oh, I don't, I can't really be asked. I'm already comfy in bed. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to go to. That is building up a little bit of discipline. You're getting yourself motivated as well for it. The small things matter, man. And by focusing on the small things, you end up, when you get to the big things that you have to be disciplined for, that you have to be motivated for, you find it a lot easier. And the fifth one is probably the most unique, and that is your sex drive. Your sex drive is probably one of the most motivating things that you can do. It's a very, very strong drive that allows you to do the things you want to do. For example, why do you want to go to the gym? Why do most guys start going to the gym? To be more appealing to the opposite sex. You end up enjoying the physical progress that you made, but the initial reason you start is to be more attractive to the other sex. It's why I started, it's why I know a lot of my friends have started, just to be that bit more attractive. And this goes both ways. Women, when they want to be more attracted to a guy that they like, they will take more pride in their looks. They will 
take more effort to make sure they look nice. That they smell nice. And guys can do this too. Guys having a skincare routine, having like cologne to make them smell like not like shit. That's okay. That's not weird. Like it's proven to be more attractive. I don't know why some guys are like, ooh, skincare routine, gross. Okay. And you've got fucked on the acne and I don't. Relating things to your sex drive. It's a weird way of thinking, but it does help you get motivated. The, rich, the initial reason that I went to the gym was to be more appealing to the opposite sex. You know what? I'm gonna take a little bit more pride in how I look, because that is proven to be more attractive. You know what? I'm gonna try and be a bit more confident, because that is also proven to be more attractive. If you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance that you will never find this channel again. But if you do, or you already are, another video will pop in the corner, and if you like this video, you should 100% click on this, because this could definitely help you out. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Oh my god, it's so cold. Do you know what time it is? Seven Bruma Kiss. Mwah. So cold.